because most people they're in it to try to raise their own self but they don't they don't take their family with them and it's unattractive and by the way most of you won't hear me on this I'm just telling you, if you want to be the best, this is how you do it. Just make sure that you're present in everything you do. Make sure that you stop racing ahead for the future. Make sure that you make today count. And honestly, I think that a lot of people, when they go to build a company, they want to get what they want, but they don't want their people to get what they're going after either. You, you want to, but you really don't make sure and ensure that it happens. If you don't do that and you end up getting what you want and they don't, they're going to leave you. We're going to make a commitment to each other right now. And by the way, guys, I'm not better than all of you. You know what I did? I cracked the code. You know what the code is? You can have it all. That's the code. I don't care about your to-do list. I don't give a sh I care about your priority list. What is important to you guys? If you were to die right now, you have 30 seconds left. What in the hell are you thinking about in the last 30 seconds of your life? Like, like, oh my God, like, who's gonna watch my kids? Okay, that's your kids. Oh my God, who's gonna take care of my wife? That's my wife. Hey, am I going to heaven? Jesus, forgive me for my sin. It's God then. So God, wife, kids. Okay, you need to move that shit right to the front right now. And you need to say, God, I need to figure out how to get time and be closer with you. I'm gonna stop breaking promises. Would you guys stay in a relationship with somebody that constantly lied to you? That's why you guys don't listen to yourself anymore. That's why you guys don't respect yourself anymore. You do what you do because of what you think about yourself. When you break promises, you guys say, I'm gonna get up five o'clock and go to the gym. You hit that snooze button, you're hitting the snooze button on God, on your wife, and on your kids, on your business, and on yourself. You have no freaking idea. Listen, there was a salesman one time, he goes, dude, I'm supposed to make 100 calls a day, but I really make 90 and nobody knows. I said, bro, when you don't touch the line, when you play sports and you don't touch the line, the coach doesn't see you, but you know you didn't touch the line, you're not gonna make it. You guys need to touch the line. You know, this state that we're in in this room right now, this is the way that we should stay until we die. And if anybody is distracted right now, dude, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry you were here and you're gonna miss out on this. But for those of you that are with me, this is a conversation for the elite. Now I want you to write down your priorities. What do you want? You wanna be close to God? You wanna be, be tight with your wife, okay? You wanna be your kid's hero? You wanna look in the mirror, like what you see? Like your mindset, what do you want? Do you wanna make a lot of money? You need to write down these things. Do you wanna be financially free? But can I ask you a question? If you could gain all the money right now, if you've got a wife and kids, and you're going on the sales journey, and you've got a manager that says, if you wanna make all this money, they're gonna to have to go away for a little bit, because you're gonna to need to be working with me so we can make you all this money. Well, to Forget them and go get this. If you ever make it to this and you lose this, you're going to hate yourself. Guys, I'm gonna ask you a question, all right? The leader that you look up to, do you hear about him or her talk about their wife and family all day long and how much they love them? If not, there's a pretty good chance that they honestly don't value their wife and family. A lot of people are gonna hate this right now, like they should. Just, just telling you, I talk about my wife all day long. I talk about my kids all day long. I talk about killing it in business all day long. I talk about the gym all day long. I talk about my clients that I love all day long. Guys, everything that's important to me, I talk about all day long, and my team hears me talk about all day long. So my team cannot be confused and not think that, you know what, Andy, I can't have my family with me. Hey, of course you can have your family with you, because I tell you, you should all day long. There's no limit. There's no caps. You can do whatever you want. Truly, you can. You know what I'm talking about? Having it all and being uncommon. And who are the people that get the uncommon stuff? Uncommon people. So how do you get uncommon? It's very, very simple. Number one, you got to look in the mirror and you got to like who the hell you are because you can't help anybody else if you don't want to help yourself. If you don't like you, I promise you, you're not being good to your wife or your husband. I swear to God you're not. And you're damn sure not being good to anyone else that's around you. Our responsibility as adults or the people that we love is to bring the good shit in life to them. Am I right? You know, and I'm being raw with you guys for a minute because I want you to know that you can do two things now. Number one, you can walk out that door and you can stay the same. Or number two, you can draw a hard line in the sand and you can change. And the one thing's for sure is that time will tell what you decided.